We are back on most Buffalo and winter is very obviously in full swing with the frigid temperatures this month. Lake Erie has been quickly freezing over. We're currently at 85% ice coverage and it's actually possible that the lake might freeze over completely for the first time in years. Storm Team 2 meteorologists Dan Russell and Jennifer Sinonis are in the Weather Center right now with where things stand. And even if it, it doesn't completely freeze, this is a lot more coverage than we've seen in the last couple of years. Right, and it happened fast. Yeah, you know, we had, of course, a very warm month of November, a very warm month of December with above average temperatures. So we almost saw no ice to start out the winter season. Yeah, and then just in the last couple weeks, just Incredible. with this Arctic blast, yep. we went from what, like 30%? up to now over 80%. Yeah, the month of January as a whole, we've seen only about six days, six days where the high temperature has actually gotten above freezing. And that's one of the reasons why we have seen such rapid ice development here on Lake Erie. In fact, we have a graphic here that's showing you the ice coverage from a week ago. Right. Here we are a taking a look at January 16th, where we have all the blue. This is the open water. We were only at about 20% ice coverage on January 16th, and then of course a week later. Look at this, and now we still have a little open water, but not much, but just enough still to get some of that lake effect snow, although it will be limited, so that's why we're not seeing as much in terms of accumulations. But we'll continue to see this filling in, but I don't know if we're gonna get completely iced over. I think now yeah. with the milder temperatures, Dan, I, it'll be close. Temperatures are trending a little bit warmer, and especially I think as we head into the first few days here of February, as we look, I think at next weekend, we're seeing a flip. Yeah, we might see a bit of a pattern flip where we do see more of those warm days like we saw during the month of November and December. But overall, as we look at this winter, and what we have seen, again, the lake has been a, a key player here. Absolutely, and we're kind of seeing that kind of trend year after year where we're yep. getting a bulk of our winter snowfall from lake effect. So this is what we're looking at so far this season. Again, most of this coming from lake effect snow, whales more than 11 feet of snow already recorded so far this season for the Buffalo South Towns. Buffalo, just about four feet. And again, this is mostly from lake effect snow. We're seeing this more yep. common over time. And we're also seeing more frequent big storms with a lot of melt in between Yep. for a number of reasons. We have variability with our temperatures. A lot of thaws. Cover in general, yep. a lot more thaws. Yeah, we're I mean, seeing more record highs versus record lows. We saw those events in November and December where we actually saw it as a reason why Wales has over 11 feet of back, snow there. Back to back it's because we saw a few of those big lake effect events mm -hmm. November and December. But in between, I know my house, it went right everything, down to bare ground in between right those events. And that's kind of been the theme, yeah, over the past several years. But I mean, just look at that difference there. 136 inches compared to just a little bit more than four feet. By the way, this is below average for this time of year. Not by much, though. Not by much. We're, not by much. We're getting there slowly but surely. We, we do average for the season just a little bit under 100 inches. So we got some, we got some ground to make up here as uh, we go through the rest of winter here. Yeah. And of course, as we look at what's been happening with the lake, over the past really 20, 25 years, we got some trends here. A lot of trends. You can see over by you, Dan, you have yep. a cluster closer to ice cover. I mean, uh, we're many decades in the 70s. 90s. We're sitting here 95% up to 100%. And that's when you can truly call the lake ice covered. You got to get about 95% in higher ice coverage to call it. It is completely ice covered. And that happened fairly regularly here throughout the 70s, the 80s, even into the 90s. But then you can see that changing. The cluster yep. does break up, and then now you have more frequent, like barely any ice yep. to cover the lake, and we're seeing that more frequent over the most recent, recent decades. Although this year is kind of a little bit of a <laughs> new anomaly because mostly, like you, decades and decades ago, we would it would be rare when we wouldn't have the the lake freezing over and now it's becoming more rare when we do get it. Exactly. Yeah. That is becoming the, the not freezing over is becoming more the norm mm -hmm. than the, the actual freezing over. And you can really see that, yep. especially in recent years. We got a lot more of these low points here than the high points that we had, especially prior to the year 2000. So we'll see what happens. Now, again, temperatures are expected to warm up here later next week and towards the weekend. So we'll see where the lake ultimately does end up with the ice here on Lake Erie. Send it back over to you, Lauren. All right, interesting stuff. Thank you so much. I was watching the bigger monitor over there. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> and thank you, Jen.